All right, everybody, welcome to Physics Games, doing some more Enter the Gungeon gameplay. In this video, we're going to be beating the bullets past. I have tried a few times, haven't quite made it, but hopefully this is the one. We'll see. So like the robot, the bullet is also an unlockable character. You don't start with him. You have to find a caped bullet, like this cape that you're wearing here. He'll spawn randomly throughout the game after you beat at least one character's past. And whenever you see him, if you just don't attack him and leave him alone for a little while, he'll disappear. If you do that, I think five or six times, then uh, he'll show up in the breach and you'll be able to play him. So his starting item is this sword, and then he has a passive that makes him immune to contact damage and also increases his dodge roll damage. But the, the sword is quite nice. If you're at full health, it shoots out this projectile. And whether or not you're at full health, it deletes incoming bullets. Oh, nice. And we got an NPC. Professor Goopton. Weird egg, potion of lead skin, and barrel. Well, I'm definitely taking potion of lead skin. Thank you, sir. Unicorn horn? I get a curse for this, but honestly, it's probably worth it. Oh, wait, I didn't take the damage. I managed to use the lead skin in time. Or the blank. One of the two. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? That's pretty whack. What the heck is that, dude? Hello? Void core cannon critical strike? Wow. That, that's really neat. I like that. Okay, that was dumb. That was real dumb. Okay, that was also dumb. I could steal a heart and then try to come back in time for the potion. Get the heck out of here, guy. On second thought, I should have stole that payday mask so I could unlock it, but oh well, here we are. Man, the Blasphemy really just feels like a worse version of the KC. Sucker born every minute. Oh, that did not work. Well, at least we got three. Charming bow. Hello, Gorgon. Nice to meet you. There we go. That's more like it. Wolf? Oh yeah, buddy. What's up, wolf? Can I pet you? I can't pet you. Good job, wolf. Go get him. Um, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, Mr. Shrine. We'll see. Get him, wolf. Oh, we already did find the boss. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Okay, Treadnought might be the only boss where I really don't want to be using Blasphemy. Uh, I really don't want to be right in his face. At all. No, you piece of crap. I didn't know there was a guy down there. Ugh, now I don't get this stupid mask around. Always be buying keys, people. Easy game. Portable turret versus lead skin. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Lead skin's probably honestly smarter. But, you know, let's be a little risky. Why not? Ooh, armor every floor? Don't mind if I do. Let's see what kind of NPC we got. Goopton again. I mean, Strafe Gun would be amazing, obviously, but I don't think we're getting that much money. Oh, mother hacker. Get him, my turrets. Heck him up. Nice. Oh, nice. 
I got flying for this. Conveyor belts don't mean nothing. Oh, you poopy butt. Boo! Boomerang versus portable turret. Yeah, I'm good. Pretty easy choice there, TBH. Nice, we made it. Uh, let's get that bullet. Thank you. Maybe I can refill this guy. I have heart too. Still need to find the other chest. Uh, it's probably worthwhile. I don't think I need it, but why not? You know, why not? I guess that's actually pretty useful. You drop something on this floor. Nice. Kind of think I'm gonna drop this unicorn horn. I'm pretty sure it's S tier. Let me check. Is this the Deckard? Yeah. Big improvements. I definitely like that. Yeah, get him turret. You can do it. Don't let his invincibility stop you. Go wolf, go! I kinda messed up my wolf there, didn't I? There we go. Alright. Made it to the bullets passed. To be fair, I have made it here before and couldn't quite close it. So we'll see how this one goes. Gungeon proper. Some number of years prior. Oh my younglet, only you can save us. I tried to wield our ancestral weapon, but its design is alien to me. When I aim and fire, it just stabs me in the head. Even though it has lost much of its great power, it is said it can reflect the magic of that dark wizard. I fear all is lost, but perhaps you can succeed where I have missed. Aim true, my... So you get a gimped version of Blasphemy, which doesn't have that ranged attack to it. It's just the melee. And then they uh, throw you in here against these two knights, which... I have tried before, you can delete part of their chain, but it just uh, comes back, so there's really no point. You end up just taking damage anyway when you really don't think you should. You can dodge those, or sorry, I mean you can delete those. And you come back here behind these two thrones, there's a little secret compartment they didn't expect me to find. And you fight this wizard, the bullet person. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You say a lot of words. And then he challenges you to a duel. Ow. Not a strong start. So you gotta play ping pong with him with his little balls. It's the only way to deal damage to this wizard. Other than that, you just dodge. Yeah, come on, you thought you could beat me? I'm the ping pong wizard guy. Which is similar to the pinball wizard, but a little different. No! Alright, so after you beat the great wizard at some ping pong, he opens up a nice little hole in the ground for you to drop into. And then you get to fight this ugly looking guy. I have not been able to beat him. I usually die like instantly. I don't know if there's some trick or something, but he still only has blasphemy. He has some crazy attack patterns. For some reason you can't delete some of his bullets. Like, I don't understand. Like, I can't, you can't even get close to him during that. 
And he's making the floor fall out. And I don't think he can land on those. So it's literally just bad for me. And good for him. Stop breaking the floor. I stand on that. Can you move, please? Thank you. Probably could have made it in there on that one, but I didn't want to risk it. Yes, we did it. Nice. Woo! Half a heart left. And come on. Nice. There we go. Huh. Not until Blasphemy gets upgraded, I guess. Interesting. Hey, we let everybody free. We're not evil anymore. We're just hanging out, chilling, having a party. Ooh, that was good. Alright, this one took me a bunch of attempts too. Not quite as many as the robot, but still, it feels really good to be done with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.